An alkene is a molecule that has a carbon-carbon double bond. On the alkene, each carbon is also bonded to two other things like, for example, maybe hydrogen atoms. It doesn't have to be hydrogen atoms. These could be alkyl groups like methyl groups or ethyl groups, but we'll just use hydrogens to keep this example simple. One of the types of reactions that an alkene can perform is called an addition reaction. In the addition reaction, we will react our alkene with another reagent. I'm going to abbreviate this reagent as XY. And in a minute, I'm going to give you a list of all of the different types of molecules that can be used as our X and Y in the alkene reaction. In this addition reaction, the carbon-carbon double bond is converted to a carbon-carbon single bond. Whatever it was attached to the alkene, in this case the four hydrogen atoms, they are left intact. They're not moved around. They're still attached to their original carbons. And that carbon-carbon double bond opens itself up. And so this bond right here, I am now drawing in this position. It could also be over in, on this other carbon. As that carbon-carbon double bond opens up, the XY adds itself to the two carbons of the alkene. So we get this type of product. And the name addition makes sense because we are essentially adding this XY to the carbon-carbon double bond. Now, like I said, there is a variety of different things that can be used as the XY reactant in the alkene addition reaction. For example, X and Y could be HX, um, such as HCl or HBr. Or we could have water where X is H and the Y is OH. We could also have an H2 molecule where the X and Y each are H's. So this is H2. It looks kind of funny when it's written like that. This is H2O. We could also have a halogen molecule, XX. So this would be Cl2 or Br2, something along those lines. We could also have two separate substances serving as the X and Y, so they don't necessarily have to be bonded directly to each other. This would be, uh, some examples of this would be X and OH. So for example, if we were adding a chloride along with a hydroxide, something like that. We could also have two OHs separately. Um, so this, again, would be a hydroxide and then a second hydroxide coming in. And again, in this case, we don't have an XOH bond. This is just going to be like a two-step process where we add these two things one at a time. The addition reactions have unique names based on what the XY is. So um, while it's always an addition reaction... When we are adding HCl or HBr, we call it specifically hydrohalogenation, which should make sense. Hydro for the H and halogenation for the, the Cl or the Br. When we're adding water, we call it a hydration reaction, which again should make sense because we're adding water. When we add the H2 molecule, we call this hydrogenation. And when we add a halogen molecule like Cl2 or Br2, we call this halogenation. When we are adding two OH groups, we call this dihydroxylation which should make sense, dye for two, and hydroxyl groups, hydroxy groups. And this one that I skipped right here, the reaction itself doesn't have a name. The product that is formed from this particular type of addition reaction is called a halohydrin. So we call this reaction, generically, the formation of a halohydrin. 
In the next few videos, I'm going to go through each one of these different types of addition reactions one at a time to give you the individual details and the mechanisms of how these reactions work.